In what has already been a horrible news week filled with all sorts of fresh house stories, we do have some good news, at least from Michigan. Uh, now, last month I had talked about a candidate named Robert Regan. Uh, Robert Regan uh, is a Trump supporter running for office or who was running for office in Michigan's 74th district. Robert, Robert Regan has lost his election. Yes. Now, the Detroit Free Press reports that Reagan, who had also been pushing to decertify the results of the 2020 election, so, uh, you know, in favor of the uh, big lie, uh, had lost his race to Carol Glanville, a Democrat, by about 1,500 votes. So now 1,500 votes doesn't sound like a lot, and that's because there wasn't a lot of votes in this election. In fact, only about 14,102 votes had been cast in this election. It's actually very, very small abysmal turnout and by the way um the district they were running in was a solidly red district and that's what makes this very interesting you have low turnout and a very solid trump supporting district in fact this went for trump in 2020 by 16 points this election actually marks the first time that a Democrat will be representing this district in the Michigan State Capitol. Holy crap. So now, uh, what happened? Uh, why such low turnout? Uh, why did uh, more people vote for a Democrat? Well, it turns out Republicans may have actually found a line that they didn't want to cross. Earlier this year, Regan came under heavy criticism after he made an analogy involving rape. Of course, it, it's always a rape analogy that they do. Uh, always, always. Uh, in fact, I showed you the video a while ago. Um, basically, it was a conversation with uh, Adam Gally of the Michigan Rescue Coalition. This is a group of uh, Republicans that want to overturn the election, right? Now, Regan said that he didn't believe that it was inevitable the 2020 election would not be overturned, despite the fact that there was no evidence of voter fraud that uh, had been held up in court. So no evidence because they, they don't have any evidence because there's no mass voter fraud. Um, it was in that context of the conversation, though, that he said this, quote, having three daughters, I tell my daughters, if rape is inevitable, you should just lay back and enjoy it. I'm guessing this man uh, did never uh, did not ever win Father of the Year. He does not have world's best dad mug. No, he's the rape dad. Wow. Uh, now, <clears throat> that's pretty fucked up. Uh, and look, it, this is not the first time that he had ran. Two years ago, one of uh, Regan's daughters had uh, discouraged people from supporting her father during that campaign. Here's what she wrote on Twitter two years ago. If you're in a Michigan, uh, I'm sorry, if you're in Michigan and 18 plus, please, for the love of God, do not vote for my dad. Tell everyone. Hey, you know what? Uh, they followed your advice. Not just once, but twice. Apparently, hey, at least there's a line that uh, some Republicans didn't want to cross. Nonetheless, the guy still got 5,697 votes. But uh, thankfully, even with that, that's still way too many votes. But thankfully, he did not win. So at least, you know, there's some good news there. Uh, but not for Regan. Because, you know, hey, uh, you lost. Sad day. I guess now you can just lay back and enjoy your loss.